Hey yo, what's up guys? John Boogle here. Today I'm gonna be using my own guide to beat Manic King Dragon. One of the more harder Manic stages. Let's see if we could pull it off with the low level units we have. So this old guide uses much higher level units than we have right now, but we could use the units we have to adapt to the same strategy. This being four years old means we do have access to some units. We don't have level 40 camera or cyborg. We don't have a decently leveled can can but we do have haniwa and of course the one and only cyberpunk so yeah it is no messing around anymore it's finally time to just bring out cyberpunk we definitely would have been able to beat this without cyberpunk but that would take a long time but cyberpunk just makes it such a massive joke even with our lower leveled units the beginning is definitely the biggest struggle because with our low levels we're having troubles even taking down the mots in the beginning and you can see we weren't able to kill any of them, so cash is a huge issue, and this was basically a failed run. So in our test run, we established that we do not have enough levels or cash to handle the mods in the beginning quick enough. The solution to that was pretty easy though, and it didn't involve getting some higher levels, so that's good. So yes, this run was scrapped, and we had to move on into the next. And the next run was actually our winning run. Only thing we had to change was just get Rich Cat for the beginning, because we do not have Fishman, so eliminating those mods in the beginning is a pretty big issue with the limited cash but with rich cat we can do it pretty easily and we can just start the brainless cyberpunk stacking we won't even need to do our a bahamut cycles properly because cyberpunk is perfectly suited for the job to just sit back and take control of everything you'll still see how much we struggle with the mods in the beginning here though like the old guide mentioned in the cyberpunk strategy you want to get cyberpunk out on the field as quick as possible so that means you have to kill the mods quick and for us, it's quite difficult to kill them quick, but we are able to kill one of them early in the beginning with the help of Swimmer, and that gave us enough we needed paired with the Rich Cat. Now, it not being a base hit stage means the MKDs are already up here. This was a bit of a problem because Mots were just killing Haniwa, but Cyberpunk was able to just slowly chip away. Now, with Cyberpunk, of course, in the old guide, I mentioned how the Autos are just really the main threat. So you just build your lineup around the Autos and you'll be fine just bringing in some great attackers like Cam, Paris, Cyborg, Drama Cats, Pizza, Manic Flying. But we don't have most of those units, and if we do have those units, they're not that high level. We definitely could have used Pizza here as well, and maybe sacrificed one of the defense combos, because we are running double defense combo. Now, without Cyberpunk, I also explained how you have to track the auto waves and cycle your units in time for after the auto wave and before the auto wave happens. I go into detail about this in the Crazed Dragon Redux guide because it's practically the same stage but just boosted. I also did mention in that guide if you have Hacker or Cyberpunk, all of that becomes irrelevant. And yeah, it just becomes brain dead. Just spam for the auto waves and stack Cyberpunk. Haniwa does make this a lot simpler though, especially for handling those auto waves with such low level units compared to what you should have because at this point you should really boost your cameraman and your can can as well. But with Haniwa we're able to compensate with the lower levels because we could hold a little bit of more ground and stack up against those auto waves much easier we also could have used courier here as well but i mean cyberpunk is really enough we did actually go back and beat the stage without cyberpunk as well to collect some footage for the future so it's not like this was not beatable without cyberpunk cyberpunk just makes it that much easier it's just a must use cyberpunk is basically our uber for this stage because we don't have to worry about these trash a bombing cycles like this when cyberpunk can just sit back and just always crowd control, always get chip damage. But yeah, those defense combos did help Bahamut get a couple hits in there. With Cyberpunk, I did mention in the old guy that you could either use a Bahamut to cycle on the dragons or even just the auto waves if they get too close to your Cyberpunk stack. The key gotchas are really a menace for this stage. Even Fishman high enough level could get in there and get a hit. But yeah, at this point, it was pretty much a guaranteed win because we had multiple Cyberpunks. All we had to do is just protect them at all costs. It is really just mindless spam. You don't have to keep track of any of the auto cycles. You just wait till the autos are right in front of you and you just say, oh, it's auto wave. 
Let's just spam attackers, wipe them out, and continue on with our day. You'll see later that I was surprised to see at level 20, Manic Eraser was able to get right in front of the MKDs with the double defense combo. So yes, we got that OP Manic Eraser chip damage, you already know. One of these days, I will get that damage knockback with the Manic Eraser on a stack. I don't remember if it's already happened from the hundreds of times I've done this stage before, but... If it hasn't, it definitely will soon. But yeah, right there, you can see Manic Eraser is able to just get up right there and tank hits with no issue. Cyberpunk there got the damage knockback. Would have been very funny if Manic Eraser got it there, but we never know how close we are to that. But yeah, this just shows just how brain dead this is with Cyberpunk just repeating the same thing over just mindless spam you don't even need any of the slow talents that is just extreme overkill the only talents we have on this account right now is can can bounty and target alien bounty definitely does help a lot in this stage i did mention in the old guide that cash management is a very big thing in this stage because you want to deal with those auto waves as efficient as possible otherwise you won't be able to send out those a bahamut cycles but of course, with Cyberpunk, we have no worry about that at all. We could have just replaced a Bahamut with just another attacker like Pizza, and it would have worked very fine. But having a Bahamut definitely does speed up things tremendously, even if you just get one hit every cycle. Now, the thing about Haniwa in this stage is the movement speed is, of course, very slow. That means when you get closer to the MKD base, you'll probably start to claw cat limit and that can be a huge issue especially if you've already hit the base and unleashed the last wave of mkds but once again with cyberpunk that is no issue at all because we could sit at a safe distance even if there are six mana king dragons stacked up we could just sit at a safe distance and snipe the base away. In the guide i mentioned how if you don't have cyberpunk or not using cyberpunk you have to definitely save a Bahamut for when you hit the base. Otherwise, you're going to get screwed over. You're going to have to deal with another wave of Mana King Dragons all over again. If you manage to get a Bahamut locked onto the base, it will definitely kill the base even with the dragon stacked up behind it. And that is essentially half of the cheese strategy. Just letting Bahamut get knocked back so it does that rebound attack. But with Cyberpunk here, we won't have to worry about all of that. That is if we are able to defend our Cyberpunk stack. You'll see that it does get pretty close at some points like on this auto wave. We are getting the slow procs on the autos with Cyberpunk but they do push through very slowly and they get pretty close because our attackers are not that high leveled. It takes a while to take out an auto wave of this boost magnitude and in a stage like this where the auto waves get progressively more pressuring you will slowly get pushed back if you don't have high enough levels or a dps stack to match the output of autos they really are the main threat of the stage for sure mkd in the back is just there supporting them haniwa is definitely making a huge difference but at level 30 it's still not comfortably making that wall keep in mind we are are using double defense combos on this run here but yeah on an instance like that you'll see can can double bounty is definitely extremely helpful for this stage otherwise we wouldn't be able to a bomb its cycle in the no cyberpunk run that we did it was definitely the crucial part i'm pretty sure it was this wave where it got real close to our cyberpunks being in danger you'll see even with haniwa and double defense combo they are able to push through now you could always desync cyberpunk and just make sure nothing gets through but there's not really a need for that because we have our attackers to handle the auto waves but it did get pretty close over here. Cyberpunk's survive talent is actually great for a situation like this because if your cyberpunks do get hit, they could reposition and have that survive as if cyberpunk talents weren't broken enough, but even without them, we're able to pull it off here. Yeah, this is just basically cyberpunk glazing for the entire runtime here. We could have done this on manic flying as well and manic eraser and mohawk, etc. But I think this is the perfect stage to display cyberpunk's value. But of course, it's not all cyberpunk. We did have to have some attackers to back up cyberpunk. Of course, Haniwa was a big thing as well. And yeah, you'll see there this is the last hit and it's over. We can speed it up here a bit because even with no A Bahamut, if we hit the base, we're perfectly fine. We have multiple cyberpunks stacked up and that's basically how this run ended. We 
beat it on this first attempt here after figuring out we absolutely needed Rich Cat for the beginning because our swimmer was too low level to handle the mods in the beginning so we couldn't get cash quick enough to get our first cyberpunk out and even then we still struggled in the beginning taking out the mods we had to slowly chip them down with cyberpunk but yeah a bahamut's on the base and it's over and there it is manic king dragon obtained was definitely a walk in the park with cyberpunk we now only have one manic left to obtain and that is of course manic jam i still have yet to upload the videos for manic mohawk and dark and legs but those will be coming soon but mkd is there but yeah that's it drop a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new join the hashtag buku gang discord is down below join if you'd like that's it it's been John Bogle and see ya.